Do you ever wonder what happens when the police leave? Crime scene cleaners are private companies that handle the cleanup after the police are gone. Spalding Decon is one of the nation's largest cleanup companies handling the aftermath of homicides, suicides, decompositions, hoarding, and much more. These are our stories. Uh, we're here at a house where uh, there was an unattended death that had happened uh, late last year, actually, um, October. She was found maybe nine to 14 days after she had passed. And this was my ex-wife in my house at one time, and we got a divorce. Right over there's her hair. Do you see that? I mean, that's her whole head of hair. All right, well, good morning. Here we are at our Cape Coral uh, biohazard day two. So uh, just popping up some of the baseboards. Um, we're still gonna run the extractor a little bit. Well, I'm very pleased with what's going on here. Uh, mentally, it's it's changed me, so um, I couldn't be happier, you know, with what's going on. The, the bio that's kind of run down in here into the, uh, the grout, it's pretty thick. I think we're getting most of what up here. No, you're taking it all. Yeah. 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 You don't want anything pet pet in there? No, I want the whole thing going there. Yeah. Okay. Because that's a puddle in the kitchen. So I don't want to do it. Cool. Well, yeah, that was from our wedding. <laughs> yeah, you know yeah I can't believe it was still in there. It blows me away. No, I don't want that here. So uh, here's fresh knives okay. to cut the linoleum, and then there's the screwdriver to put put those in there. Yeah, this is, um, it's it's what we call Part A, and it, it has a terrible name, it's called Meth Part A. Meth Part A, Meth huh? Part A, because, well, we use it for other so things. So it's the meth that's useful? Yeah. So no, it's not indicating anything else, so you got it. Yeah. So it'll make so, it change colors or something? Yeah, it'll it'll actually, it'll turn all like white and frothy oh. and, yeah. Okay. All right, well, good morning. Here we are at our Cape Coral uh, biohazard. Um, day two, so got the crew in there already started. You're gonna hear some noises. Uh, yesterday we spent the better part of the day just cleaning up that floor, sanitizing, disinfecting it, um, getting as much cleaned up and as much of the uh, household items out and into the, the dumpster. And um, you know, today we're in there uh, just popping up some of the baseboards. Um, we're still gonna run the extractor a little bit. Not really considered a, a bio anymore because it's all, all cleaned up and sanitized and disinfected. So we get to be a little more comfortable today without all the, the gear and the masks. So we're excited, we're here. Let's go. The least amount of fun money I've ever found in a home. Really? Right there. The least amount of money. I think we found a penny yesterday, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and now look. Yeah. 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 Okay. I'm gonna roll it out. Yeah. I'm gonna lean it over here. So what we had to do was these are the vertical blinds that were in the, the living room and um, because of the spread of the bio, some of the bottoms of these uh, came in contact um, with uh, the, the biohazard material. So um, we're kind of painstakingly going through each one of them and finding out because they all aren't bio. Um, so which ones have the uh, bio on the bottom of it and we'll separate them out. Uh, to regular trash and biohazard trash um, as well. Have you seen blinds like this before? Yeah. You have? Yeah. They They're look like um the like the wraps, like the when you're injured. I can't think of the name. Ace bandage. bandage. Ace, yeah, bandage. Ace, Ace bandages. Yeah. yeah. Hey, you know what? That's a good observation. Yeah, they kind of do, don't they? <laughs> yeah. yeah. The more cloth, you know, I mean, these are actually more expensive than just like the vinyl verticals that a lot of us see. Oh, really? See, I mean, this is a, a fabric, so. Um, yeah, you know, she uh, definitely spent some money on these. You finding any with bio so far? Or? Uh, just a couple of them over. And, oh, actually, I have to indicate them. I think most of them are still in, in this movie. I don't have to show it, so. I have to go through this bag. That's where we think most of the bio is. Let's see. Because it's in a regular trash bag, and it shouldn't be. Pretty thick over here. 
the bio oh, or the a, tiles? Uh, the the bio that's kind of run down in here into the uh, the grout. It's pretty thick, and so what I'm trying to do is just get a little bit of it up. This stuff, if this sets for about 20 minutes or so, which is while we have the uh, steamer uh, heating up, you know, it'll come up uh, pretty easy too. And can you explain the importance of separating bio from um, things that are disposable? Yeah, yeah. So right now what we did, since they're in there ripping up the floor, we couldn't be in there at the same time trying to take each one of these verticals down from the wall. So we chose just to uh, take everything down, bring it out here. Some people put it in a regular trash bag for me to go through and separate it out and then separate it to a biohazard bag. So that's why you see a little bit on the ground, a little bit in a regular bag. and. Some's going in the bio bag. My part's not bubbling at all. Oh, this one is not. This okay. one's not going to make it bubble. Okay. Yeah. This is like the degreaser. Oh, okay. This is what's going to cut through the, the bio and uh, make it really easy to clean up. It's amazing. See, see how it cleaned that? You know? My mom used to have me using yeah. a toothbrush back in the day to get grass. Yeah. I mean, it's pretty amazing stuff. It does do a great job. All right, Charles, can you kind of explain um, how you're feeling with the work done here so far? Well, I'm very pleased with what's going on here. Uh, mentally, it's it's changed me, so um, I couldn't be happier, you know, with what's going on. I actually see progress, and progress is what I need for my to move forward in my own life, so I couldn't be happier that this company has uh, helped me mentally with this. So. I just want to see it keep going. A curious question. You've been living in this home yeah. um, the entire time. What was that like um, with um, the bio? I lived on the back porch on, in my tent for the first five days, and uh, it was horrible. <laughs> it was like 90 degrees at midnight. I couldn't, I mean, I just couldn't take it. Plus, seeing it in the window was really difficult. Um, and then I, I cleaned the one room completely out, and my father-in-law bought me an air conditioner so I can get in there. So that back bedroom in my house is sealed. But it's it's creepy. I know that that's my safe place, and I can go there and, and uh, think. But it's uh, it's still it's getting better because it's getting clean. So I don't I know that the remnants is gone, and so I'm feeling good. So this is going to break up the biohazard? Yeah. Yeah, it works pretty fast. Um, you know, we are still going to be removing the tile. However, we do still have to make it uh, somewhat safe for the techs to get down there and clean that up. Some of the, uh, the biohazard material went underneath the um, baseboards and when we pulled it out, so you can see here. So, so not only what has happened is it's gone under the baseboard and it's probably gone down underneath the floor. And then we'll have to clean the floor and clean the concrete as well.
adjuster is still going to come and in, inspect the area here. So where where the, the bio was. You don't have to talk through the outline where you need to work. Well, you know what? We, we pretty much know because actually, uh, yeah, it's uh, kind of let the, uh, the solution kind of tell us just how far. But I mean, you can start. Um, start over there in that corner and we're probably going to work our way maybe right up to about right here and then we'll see if it indicates beyond that. It kind of went like this yeah, and, I did. Went out. and then it went out this it way. Out so, but it was way, it was all in here. So we know we want, yeah, that all, yeah. You don't have to go to the wall, um, but it did go you won't be able to get this out by like that unless you cut it or something because they're all snapped in. So you have to take off the board and they're just flipped up like this. There you go. There you go. All right. Crazy. Under the floor? There's, there's rat droppings. How do they get under the floor? That is amazing. So here we are at the Cape Coral at Bio. Uh, we're about mid-morning. And here there's lots of stuff going on in the background. We've actually started to uh, rip up the flooring. Um, got some uh, laminate flooring in there. So it's, it's coming up pretty easy, uh, but there is linoleum underneath it. Um, and then what we're starting to see in, in certain areas where the, uh, the biohazard kind of leaked underneath and kind of spread out um, underneath that. So we'll be going back over that and cleaning that up um, as well. But uh, for right now, we're just trying to get through it and get the panels up. Um, and then we'll move on to doing the, uh, the floor, the tile floor in the uh, entryway and into the, to the kitchen as well. We have a big rotary uh, type of instrument that we, or, or tool, excuse me, that we use. That's my dental background, instrument. <laughs> everything was an instrument. Now in this career, everything's a tool. <laughs> How long were you in the, in the dental? Oh, 27 edition? years. 27 years I was, in, nice. I was in the dental field. And then I became an instructor. Um, but uh, for the most part, you know, working left hand, you know, dentist to the dentist uh, was uh, 27 years. Uh, yeah, nice. So welcome to the restoration industry. Yes, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Instead of restoring teeth, you're restoring homes. Exactly. And <laughs> yeah. same, same principle. There you start you at the foundation, you work your way up. Same yeah. Same <laughs> there we go. Okay. So Mariah wants to know if I can describe the smell. And I will tell you, I. So many of these you guys see, I know, but and we can say how bad it smells, but until you have ever been in one of these, it's just, it really is an unbelievable smell. Um, it's very distinct, and um, man, woman, child, it, it all smells the same after, uh, you know, 9 to 14 days. Um, but uh, so Crystal just came up with a really good analogy. So think of it like, you know, your freezer goes out, you've got raw meat in there, it's defrosting and it's been closed up for 14 days. It's all hot now inside. You open up the freezer and that, that smell you get, it's probably one tenth. <laughs> one tenth of this, but it's, it's the idea of, you know, uh, what that smell might smell like. All right, Carissa, where are we headed? <laughs> We're off to a little adventure today. So once we pulled up the uh, plank flooring, there's just a laminate. We found that there was linoleum that had been laid probably, again, in the 70s. So this stuff is like so glued to the concrete. Our little chisel is gonna like take forever because of the, the bio was so large. Um, we're off to Home Depot to get a bigger blade for the end of the machine. So uh, it'll make it uh, faster uh, to uh, remove that flooring. end of day two. It feels like day four. <laughs> We've done a lot. We've done a lot with uh, three of us uh, working here real hard, uh, tearing up that floor. Um, you know, Crystal and I did a lot of the heavy lifting yesterday and clearing out a lot of stuff that was on the floor and getting up the initial um, 
uh, bio off the floor. Um, so today we actually got to go in and we popped up all the uh, laminate floors uh, only to discover there was another layer of linoleum. Mariah and I, we had to rent this little uh, instru or tool over here uh, to uh, strip the uh, linoleum off the floor. So uh, we spent the better half of the, uh, the afternoon doing that. It's four o'clock, we're ready to go. We'll be back here at eight o'clock uh, tomorrow morning on a Saturday. <laughs> Exciting! Yeah! <laughs> hey, Ed. Good morning, good morning. There you go. Hey, the feet. Hey, good morning, everybody. Carissa and Ed here, uh, Southwest Florida. We're uh, third day here at the uh, Cape Coral uh, project. You'll notice uh, Ed's finally here and joining us. We've got a few more extra hands going on inside. Uh, you know, pretty much wrapping up today. We're going to be cutting into the, uh, the drywall, uh, seeing what we kind of are exposing there and uh, kind of kind of take it from there so we got a couple of different jobs going on unfortunately one of them is like you know 55 miles down the road south but uh, uh, so yeah I brought tools because um, we got to get into the, uh, the drywall the sill plate and uh, the framing and things like that to, to see where the bio went so that'll be uh, that'll be part of today's action and, and we got the tools now to do it yeah so it's going to be a little bit more of a challenge today i think it's a little more humid so you know we're just encouraging the team you know drink drink lots of water you know take your breaks listen to your body we'll be in and out uh, but we're trying to wrap up so we're pressing, as you can hear <laughs> Action <laughs> packed. <laughs> well, we'll see you inside. See you inside. Right. So, Carissa, what are you guys doing out here? Homeowner had a few miscellaneous things, not that many, that uh, was too heavy for him to lift. I'm going to toss that in there for him. All right, just everybody wash your eyes. Okay. It foaming or is that just the no, actual chemicals? No, that's just, yeah, it's okay. not foaming yet. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's I mean, bubbly. usually it foams up pretty pretty quick. Yeah. Are you surprised at that or? I, I, I am, yeah. I would have thought there would have been a little bit more, but this, um, you know, it's just more or less like a, we hit this pretty good with the B yesterday. All right, so you see we're indicating right there. Yeah. Do you see, see the difference when yeah, it, kind of right like there? Kind of yeah. Like, uh, when you put hydrogen peroxide on top. Yeah, exactly. Ed, so are you surprised about nothing really indicating on the tile? Well, that's why I went and got this bottle because yeah, every once in a while this product is uh, uh, it gets affected by um, sunlight, natural light, uh, so it's supposed to be kept in an opaque. I like to just double check when something's suspicious uh, that it that it should indicate and it doesn't. I just want to make sure that we're you know we don't have a, a d diluted or a, a you know bad product. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be. Uh, Surprisingly, it doesn't seem to be indicated. So here we got. So here we need to take some tile. Looks right like it there, yeah. probably went under. Um, yeah. Getting a little bit of indication. It almost looks like leakage, though. Uh, um, very minor. So I think we'll just go ahead and uh, give us another scrub. Yummy. <laughs> Normally, what I'd like to do is flush it down the floor. Oh, yeah, put a mask on. Oh. Ooh. It smells way fresher back here. <laughs> I'd probably try it once, maybe twice more. Of, okay. of, uh, if not, I would focus very much and even even you know mark the floor uh, specifically where where it seems to be indicating, and then then we're going to have to you know, cut the drywall. It might just be that one little boy there too. It might be a right. So I mean, it might be you know that we we have to cut the drywall. And then we, we have to, yeah, we, we sprayed this earlier, that did not pop up like that. Yeah. So we let it sit. 
So I really think we're going to have to take more this time. Yeah, I was just about to tell you. But extract it um, to get the, the bio off. Yeah. And uh, then we're going to take, take more of this. Is that the same thing? Um, do it with a metal brush? Uh, yeah. So um, can you kind of give us a, a brief update? And Ed, you're, you're about to head out, right? Yeah, I gotta gotta run down to the uh, other project we got going on down in Marco Island. Hopefully, we're gonna be uh, wrapping up here today. As you can hear, there's a lot of commotion going on in the uh, the background. Uh, we're still ripping up some tiles, still finding some uh, some bio um, uh, underneath the tile and around the uh, the baseboards and stuff. So that's all coming up, and uh, it's just a slow and tedious process of you know uh, spraying and wiping and spraying and wiping, and you know that's. Follow the evidence. Yeah, you know? yeah. yeah. Can't leave any of that behind because it's only a matter of time before uh, the smell kind of comes back a little bit. So we don't want that to happen. So we're very thorough, very detailed uh, with that. That rust or is that blood? That's blood. Oh, I see. Because it's not. So, Carissa, will these beams, these vertical beams, be a problem? What the plan is, is only in the areas where it's indicating, not necessarily uh, doing the whole wall, uh, but we're going to hit it again. And let's say, let's look at this one over here. Like, you can see some of the bubbles. It's bubbling here where it's indicating. All right, but we can't cut this vertical beam, but we can cut just, you know, to the left of it and then to the right of it. And um, you know, and then come over here and cut here, and then take this piece out is what we're going to do. let it sit and then see you know sometimes it indicates very quickly and then other times well, it takes a few a few minutes so so actually that's looking pretty good so what we've done is uh, the indicator is telling us that there isn't any more bio along here so it is a pressure treated wood so the chances of it absorbing you know anything were very slim um, so that's all good, and then now, as an extra precaution, we're encapsulating it, so no odor, no smell, you know, no, no uh, wet wood smell or anything that's going to come through, so smell control. Yeah, so that's good. So what we're doing right now is we're just going to tie, you know, finish up a little bit in the kitchen, see okay. what's indicating. Um, and where we're gonna go with that, so. I don't even know, I, I was in awe on how it got there mm -hmm. because she was over here, you know? How did it get into my refrigerator, I mean, under my refrigerator? All of this was covered, didn't it? You know? Well, you know, Frank was explaining earlier that, you know, no floor is completely level, you know, and oh. so the house could have a small tilt to oh. it, and so it just, it's just gonna, gravity, gravity's gonna make it okay. flow wherever it's the lowest point, mm -hmm. you know? I was really in awe. All right, Carissa, so tell me uh, what we came back to after lunch. All right, so we came back um, after lunch. Um, we had treated a few areas, and we just kind of wanted to let the uh, the product sit for a little bit and see what they indicated and showed us when we came back from lunch. So uh, they indicated that a lot of things uh, are clean. Uh, there's no more bio today, and we'll be able to turn this over to uh, Charles. Um, nice to restore at home. Um, no more um, indications of the trauma that has happened here. He can begin his healing process and get his family here from uh, North Carolina. 
get the flooring done. Uh, the adjuster is going to be coming Monday morning at 8 o'clock. He'll meet Charles, walk the area, um, make his list of things, and you know, hopefully Charles will be uh, getting a, a nice check to help him uh, restore his life so he can move forward. That's our plan. Okay, Charles, so Carissa gave you a walkthrough. What did you think? Uh, I'm very impressed and very happy that it, everything is gone. You know, now I know, I mean, everything. So that gives me a peace of mind. You know, it's like closures to this, you know. it's. Uh, I know there's a lot of repair, but it is closure, you know. I know that I can begin my new life with my new family. All right, so overall you're impressed with the work uh, Ed and Carissa did for Extreme, Spalding Decon? Extremely, extremely. Uh, it it's funny because I was just telling my father-in-law she's been like my therapist. You know? <laughs> like she's helped me kind of just keep focused a little bit, knowing that the process is, is happening. And i seen the end, and, and I'm glad today's today, you know. It's a new day, you know. Very impressed with cool. the, the people, you know, the respect and uh, the empathy and sympathy they've had for this. Couldn't ask for more. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and ring that bell to be notified of the next episode. For more information, visit any of our locations.